Hello and welcome to Cooking with Miss Brenda. We're glad you joined us today. I'm here with a very special friend, Matthew. Hi, Matthew. Hi, Miss Brenda. And I'm so glad you're with us today. Do you love to cook? Yes, I do. And do you love to bake? Yes. And can you tell everybody what we're ma making today? Uh, we are making right cherry here. snowballs. Cherry snowballs. And I am really excited because, Matthew, I love how you just have a love for Jesus. Matthew has actually been on a... Uh, music program with me and a story time yeah and uh, he loves to just shine for Jesus and yep. I love having you I it's, really do I've done a catch all like all the different programs you know? yes you have <laughs> and you're good at it you're comfortable it's like oh you know this, I got this it's fun it is well before we do get started I have to get these in the oven so that we can show you a second step. This will be part two yeah. that we get to but they have to be baked so it's about um, 10 to 15 minutes at 350 that we're going to bake them. So Melissa is here, our general manager for Kids Club for Jesus. And she's going to let me know when that's um, when, when it's time to check on them. So I'm going to pop those in the oven. The oven is already hot. And I'll turn my oven light so you can kind of glance at them right here too. Okay. So what, how do we know when they're ready? Well, I'm, that's a good question. Yeah. And what we're going to do is we're going to check them. She, Melissa's going to let me know when they've been in about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to take a peek and see if they're golden. Oh. And if they're not golden yet, we'll just pop them in and we'll cook them a little bit more. Yeah, okay. That, that classic golden yes. look to baking. Yes. Not too done, not too light. Yeah. Sounds good. Nice and That's right. Let perfect. me get connected right here so that we can see your comments as they're coming in. And please let me know. I'd love for you boys and girls to tell me where you are. And that's moms and dads too. Tell me where you're from when you, um, when you write to us. Let me know where you're from. And... Um, if you have any questions, I and mean, here you are, they're coming up right there. Can you see that, Matthew? Yeah. So if you have any questions at all, just you can just ask them at any time throughout this whole process. Just put them in there if you've got a comment or a question uh, for either Matthew or for myself. If you're wanting to know how you can be on the program, let me know. Get Send a private message um, through um, Kids Club for Jesus. Ash is our administrator for Kids Club for Jesus on Facebook, and she's watching all the way in South Africa. Wow. That's right. And she's watching right now. So Ash would love it if I'd remind everybody to make sure you click like and you can like the page yes. here. We want to get as many likes as we can. So click like on our Kids Club for Jesus page and you can send a message. If you would like to be on a cooking program with me, just send a message uh, and we would be happy to make that arrangement. We'll get in contact with you and make it happen. Okay? I think it's going to be fun. It is. It's, it's going to be fun. So why don't you read the recipe? We are making cherry snowballs. We have a vote that we take. There's four recipes. And uh, I actually, I, I don't think you could have gone wrong with any four of them because I created all the four recipes and I wouldn't put a recipe out there I didn't like. And I liked them all. But this was actually a huge win cherry snowballs you want to read the recipe all right so we have one cup butter at room temperature mm -hmm. one half cup of powdered sugar okay one tablespoon of water one teaspoon of almond extract never heard of that before yep i'll mm -hmm. show you what that looks like two cups of all-purpose flour one fourth cup of pecans chap chopped one cup of quick oats, a half teaspoon of salt, one can of cherry pie filling. Do I read the toppings too? And for the topping, right. you will need mm -hmm. uh, two cups of powdered sugar, one third cup of almond milk, one fourth teaspoon of almond extract, mm -hmm. two cups sweetened coconut chopped. Yep, that's it. Basically and, the shredded coconut. Right? Yes, the shredded coconut. And Stuff in fact, good. I have a package. If you um, want to take that and just show them, it, go walk up to the camera a little closer. And people were saying, what does that look like? Just hold it up a little bit closer to the camera, a little higher. And that is that Melissa sure, tells that yeah. that's good. So you can see what kind of, um, I like this brand. That's good. That's good. Yeah. I like this brand better because it is... Um, uh, it's not treated. Some of the flakes are treated so that they uh, will fall apart easy. And this one particular brand was a generic brand here. And you can see how it, it, it um, flakes apart. 
And, yeah. I, and it's, it's treated in some way to do that. I don't know how they treat it, but they do it. But this will be more sticky, and I'm going to show you the difference, what we'll do. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll, 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 this, both of them work, by the way. Both of them work. Yeah. And I've even had people grate fresh coconut. But if you're going to do that, you need to grate it really fine. And yeah. use it while it's real fresh. Don't let it dry out. Matthew, your grandmother is watching from Costa Rica, she said. Oh, wow. So she would wow. like you to come there and bake some cookies with her. Oh, okay. Okay. Sure. <laughs> I'd love so. to visit the beach of Costa Rica again. It was beautiful down there. And your grandma's watching all the way from Costa Rica. Say, hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. <laughs> hi, Lita. Oh. Do you know any other um, words in th that you can speak to her? Uh, not really right now. Not really? I mean, I've learned some Spanish, but... Not that much. Not that much, but you're working on it. I mean, there's, of course, the hola. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that. Yeah, hola. Yeah, we we'll say that. Estás? And let's see, we have here, oh, my good friend Lois um, joined us. And Lois was actually my roommate in Academy, and oh, she wow. recently had a kidney transplant. And I want to thank all the boys and girls that were praying for Lois, and I put the prayer requests out there, and a lot of you were praying for her. And I want you to know she's out of the hospital, she's home, and she's watching this show. So you can Yay. say, hey, Lois, and we are so glad that, you, that God just worked a miracle in your life, and we we're praising Jesus for that. So um, thank you so much. And it's good for us to pray for each other, don't you yeah. think? Yeah. You know, let's not just pray for ourselves, let's pray for each other. Eulina has joined us, and her children, Gianna and Noah, are watching all the way from Australia. Australia. So say, got, say hello to Noah and Gianna. Got people and, from everywhere. Yes, and Janet has joined us. Craig has joined us. And um, let's see, Kathy has joined us. And um, let's see, Renee has joined us. And Olivia. And you haven't told us where you're from, Renee. And... Um, Hola to both of they said hola to both of us and Ash has joined us and also Sydney hey Sydney and I'm excited because Sydney when you guys get back I'm gonna have to have you guys do a cooking program with me but right now I think we should get started because right. our cookies are baking in the oven so that we have the second process to show you so let's get going on this one it's strange, first it's strange that we call them cookies there's you know, round, but that's they're, not that's not what you think of when you say cook when you say cookies. I think of like the flat thing. You think more of the flat one, like yeah. like my uh, um, yeah, like a chocolate chip cookie. But there's yeah. all kinds yeah. of cookies. There's even square True. cookies. There's cookie bars. You know, so True. so we have these are these are little round snowball cookies. So uh, you've already got your gloves on. I'm going to get my gloves on. And the first thing we're going to do is put the. Um, all the wet ingredients in here so you can stick the in the butter or the margarine you can use either one so let me have you do this one first put that in there do i just like chop it or? no just pick it up and put it in the bowl just scooch oh. it off in there the whole thing wow and this is going to be good there's lots of butter okay yeah lots of butter and if you and if you're a vegan you just use margarine and you can use almond milk can you use so oil uh mm. no no that will not work you'd have to use butter or margarine Okay, so you might need that. This, okay. You might need that. You can just rest it right here if you want. So we're going to our other ingredients. We want to put some powdered sugar in there because we're going to cream the sugar and the butter together. Sounds good. And why don't you do that first? And you said you were not afraid of a mixer, right? Well, I'm not afraid of so it. So let me just give you a hint. When All you're right, let's see. when you're mixing, you don't want to go sideways. You yeah, always yeah. go up and down because otherwise you'll throw so, everything everywhere. So do I set it on? And just just push it up a little bit at first. And then you can push it up more if you need to. So, yep, just mix that around really good. And I'll try to scooch the edges for you. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Always yeah. the edges. Yep. You go ahead and get right in there. And keep it even. Yep, keep that's the powder. good. Keep Trying it. to get the powdered sugar. Exactly. Exactly. You're doing a good job. Plug your ears at home. Yep, get down there some powdered sugar over here. And go ahead and let it touch the bottom of the bowl. Yep, that's it. And that'll get all that powdered sugar on the bottom all nice and creamed in there. A little bit more. Good. Yep. Go ahead and let it touch the bottom of the bowl. That's good. Keep going. And keep this even. That's the trick, boys and girls, to keep that um, mixture even. Otherwise, if you tilt a little bit, woo, it's going to go everywhere. Oh. <laughs> But that makes things a lot of fun. Fun to watch, not to clean up. Well, I've done it a time or two, trust me. Okay, that looks wonderful. 
So now let's stop right there and just wait right there because while we're we're going to put the water in here, okay? Mm -hmm. And then we're also going to put one teaspoon of almond extract. And you were um, asking about what almond extract is. That's what it looks like. They come yeah. in. It's a flavoring. I, and smell I'm, how good this smells. Whew, Isn't that good? That's like the vanilla extract. Only it's got a little almond flavor. Yeah. So, and we're going to put some of this in. That almond flavor is the secret ingredient in this the recipe. Secret ingredient. The secret ingredient. I'm telling you right now. Trust me on this one. All right. So, oh, wow. I thought it would be. Like so we're going to put a whole teaspoon of that in there. So it's not clear. It's clear. Yep. It's and clear. let me get my spatula out of there. So go ahead. And go ahead and let it touch the bottom of the bowl and keep it even. You're doing great. Mix that all up. All this, that, anything wet in there, you got to get all that mixed in there. All that gooey goodness right there. Okay. Ooh, it's going to be awesome. Yep. Okay, that looks good. You're doing amazing. I think he's a natural. Okay, so now we can just set this like this. Yeah. So All right. It doesn't. And now you're going to do. You're going to mix your. Let me get a spatula over here. Um, yep. Here's a nice, nice, pretty orange one. All right. You're going to take. This is uh, flour. Our yeah, two no. cups of flour. You're going to put right in here. Is this? Uh, is there a specific type of flour? Or just all purpose. All purpose. And that was a really good question. Okay. This guy is smart. He's not only handsome, he's smart. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so put... It looks like he's been in for 10 minutes. You may want 10 to minutes? All right, All right, well, let's check them first, okay? All right, let's see. So, And you know, for those of you who watch the show, you know that I collect... Um, I collect top hats from wherever I go. I oh, love it. And it has to have the name of the country on it. This one is... I, I just grabbed a couple. Which one's this one? Uh... Portugal. Portugal. I go to Portugal every year for uh, AFCO Europe School of Evangelism where I teach every year. Don't tell me. Coastal something. Nope. What is this one? Barbados. Have I you was... ever been to Barbados? No, no. Oh, let me tell you guys, everybody would want to go Barbados. It is the most beautiful, beautiful. I think it's a little heaven on earth, actually. Yeah. The, the beaches are just uh, white like sand and the ocean oh. is blue and it's, it's unpolluted. You know, it's yeah, just... Yeah. It is just, uh, I think it's a little heaven that's, on earth. That's what I loved about Costa Rica. It was, the sea, The seas were like blue in the daytime, and it was with black sand beaches. Oh, wow. It's like. Is that real black sand? Yeah, real black sand. Wow. Like, well, the, like the volcanic stuff. Oh, yes. And yeah. how, is that a fine sand or a coarse? It's fine. It's Feels nice yeah. on your toes. Yeah. It's I'm not have to, I've never been to Costa Rica. I guess I'm going to have to go there. Oh, yeah, it's too. wonderful. All right, so let's take a look. While we're chitting the chat, I don't want to burn it. Let's take a look and see. These are the ones that were, and I'm going to just pick this up a little bit and see in the back. It's a little bit golden, but I can tell the tops are need a little bit yeah. more. So, so give me another three minutes, Melissa, and we'll check so it again. I'm guessing there's no flipping over in this. They nope. just stay. They just right stay there. there. And again, very perceptive. <laughs> That's That was good. I'm not much of a baker but you know like ask questions i think you're going to turn into an awesome baker so sure. why don't you do this why don't you flip this in here the, all the flour and put that in there and then you can just put the bowl in the sink all right then and why don't you just put these in the sink as well and this is some oats but this is the quick oats not the raw oats so put those yeah. in there are these dry oats or uh -huh, just dry quick yeah. oats and then also put the salt in I'll hold that for you while you do that. And let's put the chopped pecans. Pecans. Ooh, those are those make it really yummy. Let's put that in the sink. Another type of nut. Said pecan, though, when you read the recipe, it's oh, different than how did you say? How did you say it? Pecans. Pecans. See, this is. There are some words in the English language, depending on where you live in the United States, that we pronounce differently. If you're from the north, you're going to say pecan. And if you're from the south, you're going to say pecan. I'm actually from the east. And so what do you, how do you say it? Uh, pecan. Pecan. So you see it's a little different. And, and if you're really from the south, then you're just say, honey, I use some pecans on my, in my recipe. You know, y'all, uh, y'all heard that, haven't you? You know, where you use pecans? Yes, we have. Okay. <laughs> My grandparents are southern, very southern. <laughs> and we're not making fun of you because we just love you. And I, I could oh, listen yeah. to that southern draw all day long. I love it. <laughs> down uh, yonder. Down yonder and go down for a piece. Yeah, I had to get used to that because I wasn't used to it. So 
my my grandparents kept saying that I was like, what? What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm confused because yeah. I I was from California, but uh huh. Yeah, they talk a little different out in California. I used to live in California, too, yeah. out in San Jose. All right, so mix this up just a little. You're just going to stir it up together until all that's real nice and combined. And it's just, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you're just getting the flour and the oats and everything just even. And if you want to, and this is like a lot more fun, just do like this with your hands. Yep, just, yep, just. Oh, yeah, that works much better because yes. you have more control. There's more. Exactly, and I pick it up from the bottom and let it f fall to the to the, the bottom. You know, pick it up, and let it fall, and keep mixing it up like that till it's real, well mixed. And it's a lot more fun working with your hands. I love working with my hands. I yeah. usually always wear gloves in the kitchen because I want to be clean. Yeah, then, I don't like. A, I'm not a germ fan at yeah, all. Yeah, but then you can lick your fingers at the end and not have all the sticky stuff on it. Yes, but if you lick your fingers, then you're going to put germs in all that food that people true, are going to eat. True. So we're not going to do that. No licking here, okay? Yeah, all right. <laughs> But it's going to be taste. And when you're cooking for you, you can. Oh, yeah. 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 You get your own rules. You know, there's some rules about cooking, you know, just to keep it all nice and sanitary. There you go. There's your three minutes. Three minutes right there? Okay, let's see. Let's pull this out of here. How are they doing? Oh, they're looking Ooh. good. Nice. And, oh, they look perfect. Absolutely perfect. So I'm just going to put them over here and let them set right there because we're not quite ready to show you. All right, but we're getting there. All right, so that looks good. All right, so why don't you do throw those gloves in the sink, and I'll give you another pair right here. There you go. See, and just throw them. We'll put them away later. Put a new pair right. on. That's that's the awesomeness about this. See, you just you get your you get your hands all sticky. Grab. I get a new pair of gloves. You can even wash the gloves and dry them and use them again. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to have you mix this now, and I'm going to add the dry ingredients while you're mixing, okay? I need to get the gloves you gotta, on. you got to get your gloves on because we want everything nice and clean. Clean, exactly. Yeah, everything's got to be nice and clean. And let's see who else has joined us right now. Oh, um, sweaty hands the Lachelle has joined us, and um, Lachelle is saying how, how gorgeous Barbados is, too. So you know what I'm talking about, Lachelle. It, it's... Um, and then let's see, we have um, Ronald Joel from Bascaro and said he's watching from the Philippines and he loves Kids Club for Jesus. And we love you, don't we? we oh, yes. He's watching all the way over from the Philippines. Max is joining us and we're glad you joined us. Nicole is joining us. Melissa, hello. Melissa's joined us too. And um, Eulina says, and baby Phoebe is joining. Noah, um, that didn't want us to forget his baby sister Phoebe. So we're. Glad that Phoebe's watching us, too. And what a great big brother you are to look out for your sister to make sure oh, yeah. she got mentioned. I'm glad for that. And, oh, Renee says they're watching from New Zealand. New Ze we got yes. people from everywhere. From everywhere. That's right. So, I think the only continent we haven't hit is Antarctica. Well, you know what? We've hit, we've hit that before, too. Maybe on, on Sabbath. Oh, Isa has joined us. So we're glad, Isa, you joined us um, today. And let's see who else. Oh, um, oh, Chris, CQ, our graphic designer. Hi, Hi, CQ. How are you? Hi, Teddy. And you know what? CQ is the one that um, created, she does screen printing, and she screen printed our aprons. And our Kids Club for Jesus wardrobe designer is actually sewing us some, some new aprons, orange and green, for our Kids Club colors. Oh, she's so, actually my neighbor, CQ. So, CQ is, yes. Uh -huh. You know, she's just watching so that she knows when this program is over so she can come get cookies. Oh, so you, did you hear that? She's saying CQ's watching because as soon as that program's over, she's coming to get cookies. There's a whole lineup, isn't there? <laughs> People are lining up for that. If you're in the College Dill area and you ever want to taste samples, you let us know. We'll fix you up. Tell you, hey, come get the samples. We'll be happy to do that. And Rhonda's joined us. Rhonda's Whetstone has joined us. She is CQ's mama. And mm -hmm. she is a great supporter of Kids uh, Club for Jesus, and so is her husband, Joey, and we love you both. All right, so now we're ready for this. All right. So get your, how, how is that happening for you? Oh, You no. struggling? It's you know, just, just I forget, hand, you, you know, know Miss Brenda is a nurse, and I worked in surgery for a couple of years. I had to wear gloves every single day oh, so in surgery. So I'm used to it, and I can tell you how a nice way to pull them off either. But that'll work for you. All right, so here we go, and I'm going to um, just add just a little, give you a little slack here. I'm just going to add a little bit of that in there. 
and you, as soon as that mixed up, I'm going to add a little more. And as soon as that mixed up, I'll add a little more. And there you go. And just go ahead and go all the way around the bowl. Keep it on the bottom so that it's touching the bottom. And you'll get it all mixed in good. And we're all, it, it doesn't take any time at all. This is such an easy recipe to make. And you will really impress your friends. When they bite into that cookie and there's a nice cherry surprise in there, Ooh, that's good. And it's the cherries from cherry pie film, so it's not got a lot of nice and gooey goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Cherries are actually my favorite fruit. They're cherries wonderful. are your favorite fruit. Yeah. I love cherries too. It's it's up there with my top ten. Mm. But you know what my favorite fruit is? I might have to rethink that. Yeah. Apricots. Apricots. That's wow. my favorite fruit. I don't think I've ever had like a raw apricot. In fact, oh. I have some over there. I'll give you one before you go. Oh, sure. Um, Melissa gave me, I think, something that's like one of my favorite things that, that she could have given me. She, there is this place you can order the best apricot jam and, and dried apricots. It's the best I've ever had, ever. And um, Melissa, maybe you can put the link out there for people that are wanting to know where that is. Um, you know, I've never had any dried apricots that are better, and you will definitely not find any better jam or apricot syrup that's better than there. I'm telling you. I might have to rethink that. I think my favorite food is actually mango. Mango? Yeah, I mean, I'm from, my grandparents are from Costa Rica, so... Uh -huh. So you love mangoes? I grew up eating them. Do you know who else loves mangoes and it's their favorite fruit? Okay. Um, our... Kids Tub for Jesus, my colleague, he is in charge of our leadership center, Dr. Andrew Harewood. His favorite fruit is mangoes. Oh, wow. Yep. And he loves them. And and he's from uh, Barbados, and they have a lot of mangoes in Barbados. So you probably like Barbados, too, huh? Oh, yeah. He picks them off the tree and eats them. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've done that before in Costa Rica. There was a mango tree right outside our, like, little... Oh, really? Our mini mansion that we had rented. Yeah. Okay, let's put that over here. We're getting close. All right, get around the sides real good. And then we put that over there. Ooh. It's hard to hold it with yep. one hand after a while. Can you get, let's try these sides right here. And, and then we'll be done. I think you got it. So let me, Good. yep, so now let's just do this. We're gonna get, whoops, see how that just shoots right off of there? Let me put that over here. Okay, so now let's put that in the sink over there. And this is the fun part. So there's a little um, flower in the bottom, so all I'm gonna do is I'm just going around the edges so that I can get combined. I don't wanna lose any of that, okay? All right, so. We can put that in the sink too. Okay. Oh, it smells good. It is really good. So now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to mix up in this. Let me put this over here real quick. You're going to take, this is a little bit of milk, and you're gonna put in here. That's about two ounces. It's, um, I think it should be one third cup. Yeah, and let probably. me just put the almond in there as well. So we'll put all the li liquid. There's one fourth teaspoon of the almond extract, which makes that flavor so yummy. And so go ahead and mix that in there. I think I'm going to get a fork. So just and we yeah, will. pour this into here. Or maybe it'd make it easier for you if I get one of these. Pour this yep. Here. So go ahead and pour it in all at once. And go ahead and start mixing that, okay? Let me get all of it in there, though, because you'll need all of it. There you go. And Ooh, this, this is the stuff that makes it good, you know, like the, the sweet stuff on it. Right. This is what, when it comes out of the oven, that you dip it in here and then into the coconut, and your cookie is done. It is done. So good. So so go ahead and see about getting that all combined till it's smooth. In the meantime, Matthew's mom is, is on and has made a, a comment there about... About Matthew when he was small. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Moms. Oh, no. <laughs> Mom, we all have them, don't we? Let's see if I can. Whoops. Okay, I'm going to have to take that off to find out. Let's hold on just a second because I. You got more clothes. 
Yes, I do. Hold on a minute. Okay, so... Um, Kathleen. Rhonda, oh, Ken Jones joined us. Hi, Ken. Thank you for joining us. And Rhonda says that um, her and Joey love us, too. And... Um, and she also loves CQ. Well, we hope so. She's CQ's mom, and who's not to love CQ? She's got a heart of gold. And then, let's see. Oh, Melissa, thank you for putting on the, the link for the apricots. And I don't get any money from that, by the way. I get no kickback from that at all. I'm just sharing goodness. Let's see. We have um, Olivia's favorite fruit is, oh, I don't even know how to say that. Do you? <laughs> how do you say that? F-E-J-O-I-A-S. Melissa? If that's... No, I'm not going to try if that. That's, if that's... Uh, all, right, who, all right, so... All right, if that is... Renee... It's, it's a fruit in New Zealand. It's a fruit in New Zealand. Oh, okay, I was going to say if... So if phonetically they, tell me how to, sell, how to say that, Renee, because, because I, 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 would, I would botch it up. Because what I'm used to is uh, Spanish and where the J is an H. Oh, yes. So I was thinking maybe it's an H, but... It says in, on Google, Feoas. Feoas? Feoas? Or Feoas? Feoas or Feoas? Feoas? Fe you know, we're probably not just, sure. We're but probably you like, let us know. And also, Rebecca Rodriguez says hello from Costa Rica. Do you know Rebecca Rodriguez? She's watching. Yeah, that's my aunt. That's your aunt. Say hi to your auntie. Hi. <laughs> and her two girls, her two little girls are probably watching. Hi. What are their names? Sophie and, oh, I haven't seen the other one in so long. She's a little baby. Oh, mm -hmm. well, awesome. Um, so tell us, uh, tell us your, um, aunt, aunt, uh, Rebecca, tell us your, your kids' names, okay? Right. And Matthew's mom says, Matthew, that when you were small, um, that they stayed at the base of an active volcano for several days and oh, you could yeah. see it glowing red at night. Do you remember that? Yes, I remember that. Wow. Probably. Well, yeah, in Costa Rica, I remember uh -huh. that trip. And we went again. I think we went to the same volcano. Maybe not. Well, right. Kenny just joined us as well. Denver Nelson joined us, and Carrie joined us. So we're so glad you guys joined us. Let me get another glove here, okay? And maybe I should get a couple of them on here. You think okay. this is good? Um, I think whip it up until it's really a little bit low, more, no lumps, no lumps at all. And I'm doing this like eggs. Yep, perfect. I love that, making yep, eggs. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, we'll set that aside. And we're yeah, gonna get our cherry, this is our um, cherry pie filling right here. All right, so we're gonna just take a little, make a little ball, and I want you to roll it in a ball. All right. And then we're gonna do this. See, we're gonna roll it like this, little ball. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna put it down, pat it down. Like that. And then you're gonna take one cherry, and I'll let you dick get one too. And I get a lit, just a tiny bit of the, uh, of the um, filling uh, part of it because you want mostly cherry, just a little bit of the filling. And right in the center of that it goes. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to take the edges and bring it up, like make a little cup, and up and over that cherry so that we want to keep all trying to keep that juice. And it's kind of got to, it takes a little finesse at first. You see how you, how we're going to do that? And then, perfect. And now we're just going to keep it softly in a ball. And smooth open so that it's all closed tight. So all that cherry bakes inside. You want to hold your hand out like this up to the camera and let them see your ball over there? Just We have to walk over and hold it up close. Right see it here. there? And show them the bottom part of it, how you sealed it all together. And it's a complete ball, and the cherry is inside. It's sealed inside. Sealed inside. And we're going to now put it over here, because this It'll will not spread out when it bakes. You know how some cookies, when it, you can bake them close it's, together, it won't matter on this one, because they are not going to spread apart when they bake. Let me see if I get enough for you here. I've never tried this recipe with maraschino cherries. Or People are wanting to know if you can do it with maraschino cherries, and yes, you can. Uh, it's not, if you like those, and a lot of people do, you can absolutely, but you won't have the, it won't be like the same gooey, you know, yeah. <laughs> goodness of that filling, of the cherry pie filling inside, but a Marcino cherry works there. I've even had them do them with chocolate covered cherries in here, and those are amazing. Got a couple of those. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, so. In there. Yep. And so you do have, we have a little pecan for flavor, but not so much. If you put too many pecans in here, it won't roll over nice, right? 
So let me have one of those cherries too. You're doing really good on this, Matthew. You're a natural. You think you go home and make these for your mom? I bet she would love these. We ac we actually sent some home to her mom, some samples. So, mom, if you're watching, why don't you tell us what you think of them? You take a big bite and tell us what you think, okay? And because we sent some, so she'd know what we were making. And here we go again. Look, just gently, gently. There our ball is. We hide that cherry inside. And let's put one more in, and then we'll show them the next step, okay? So does it matter if we get any of the juice stuff outside? Yeah, I think you're fine. If it, And that's a good question. He got a little bit of juice outside. It's not going to hurt. It'll bake off. So we'll put it right there. Like. So, let's see. Uh, yep, that's good. And a little, maybe a little bit more. You're doing good. Yep, maybe try just a touch more. You're good. Right. Okay, so I'll do some in here as well. And if you want them to be uh, exactly the same size every time, then what you do is you will get one of those scoops. And that way it's a measured amount each time. But, I don't know, these, I think they're a little bit different sizes. It gives a little character, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, no problem. You want to put me a cherry right in there for me, please? All right. And Let's find a cherry. Yep. A sea of cherries. Yep, a sea of cherries. That's right there. All right. It's you, a nice little spoon. I've never seen that before. It's, like, it's actually an olive spoon. There's a, See how there's oh. slots in the... This little spoon has slots in it. Can yeah, you see? Yeah, so, so it lets and the juice And that's like if you, dip, if you take, you know, dip into an olive jar to get the olive out, the juice doesn't come. But this works good for this too, don't you think? Yeah. So... So I just got a little olive spoon to do that. Bring up the sides. You're just going to make a little cup. Bring up the sides. Seal off so it's tight everywhere. And just kind of keep it in a ball shape. And I sometimes I just gently roll it around too just to, for smoothness. Look at that. And put that right over here. We got six of them done. We'll do the rest of them later. You don't need to see all those because now we have some ready to make. Um, let's just clear our, our um, area here right now. Cherries over here, back where they started. Yep, and because we won't need those until um, later for when I'm making up the other ones. Oh, Let this, me just wash this off. This is here. the fun part. And this is the fun part, isn't it? Yep. And you know what even is going to be even more fun? What? Tasting them after oh, this. Yeah. And oh, you yeah. get to taste them. You get to tell them what, what it tastes like. Yeah. Okay? Like the sweet, so, savory... Exactly. So, um, in fact, I have some here. Some we can. This is. We'll use what we made right there. Yeah. And we'll put this plate right here in front, so you guys can see it. And we will put the ones down here. By the way, your cookie review just came in. Oh, our cookie review. Okay. Um. So your mom says I'm not going to say she. Oh, your dad says I'm not going to say she didn't get any, but I had more than one in a ho on the way home because. His dad dropped him off here, and he had more than one on the way home. And uh, he said they were so yummy with a little bit of ooey-gooey goodness in the middle. Woo, I think that's a thumbs up. What do you think? Thumbs up. Double thumbs up. Yep, double thumbs up. I think so. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, I need another pair of gloves. I always keep those gloves handy. Yeah, I think you're doing good on the gloves. So this, this is good. Let me just put that in the sink right there, if you would. Perfect. And this... Now, see, these are already baked, so when these are baked, they're really ready to eat plain here, but but they're, you will want to finish it off with the yes. rest of this. So we're going to dip it, just mm -hmm. roll it around in here just a little bit, and I'll, I'll let my glove get the, the wet one here, and you can take this and take this and kind of gently keep um, adding all that to it, just keep putting it in what you're doing is you're just it on, yeah. pile it on and gently press just so that it all sticks together we just want enough pressing so that coconut sticks on good so i mean this is what it makes it like the snowball right Cause exactly yep that's what gives it the snowball and just keep on just a little bit gently because you don't want it to fall apart and then when you have it all stuck up we're going to just set it right there on that plate and we're just going to dip again and Okay. Right in the yep. Tired. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. Good job. There you go. And I'll get the next one ready for you. And bury it. And you, yep, yeah, that's true. And just keep, just keep um, gently tapping on that because you have to kind of tap it on, make sure it all sticks. 
right there. Now, I'm going to do one more like this. And then, would you guys like to see what the other, the difference of how it sticks on here with the other coconut? I'm thinking maybe that might be good to show you. Um, let me get a different one, okay? Hold on just a minute. Um... I know. Okay, so I'm going to get a different bowl up here. And I'm going to show you the difference of the coconut. And we're just going to cut that open here. You want to do like half and half? So I'll we just put a little bit in here. Now, can you see the difference? Can you see the difference here? Just Oh, yeah, just looking. Right, why don't you hold these up to the camera like this so they can get an eye glimpse of it right there with their eye. Can you see, Melissa, if we're hold, getting the glimpse? And you can and you can see how one is more clumped together because it's moisture. Does that show across? Okay. All right, good. We can bring it back. So let's take the one, the new one. Now you've seen how this one is. You want to like break it apart? Yeah. Yeah, break it apart just like that. And it will stick a little bit easier than, so let me put this right in here. Taste it a little bit of the other one. Yeah. Yep. Now put that one on. And because it's a moisture, this one is a much moister coconut, it's going to stick to it a little bit better. Oh, yeah. And you can even kind of do this, like this, where you're kind of just gently making your snowball. Yeah, you're like packing the snowball. Yes, like exactly. Just like packing a snowball. That's really good. Like and put some more right there, yep, and then put it on the plate. Oh, yeah, you can see that this sticks. So much, much better, more. doesn't it? Yeah, you can I mean, this works, but now look at that one. Got a nice little pattern there. Yeah, here we go. Try another one right there. Let's see if we have any questions. And I'll dip another one for you, yeah, Frank. Finish these up. Yep. And just keep keep patting them on there, like building your snow melt, snowball right on the top. You're doing a really good job, Matthew. Thank you. I love it. You can come and cook with Miss Brenda anytime. Oh, sure. I like cooking. All right. Okay, we'll put that one right there and start. And while you're doing that, let's see if anybody else... Uh, Kathleen says she loves coconut. Where are you from, Kathleen? 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 Virginia. Oh, from? This is mom. Yeah. Oh, Kathleen's your mom. Okay, okay, okay. So she's saying that she does love coconut and they smell so good. So that tells me she hasn't tasted yet, but she's going to, I'm sure. Dad so gave her some. Dad that, let her have some. He, oh, he did? And Deborah, uh, Deborah just joined us and we just finished Deborah making um, our cherry snowballs. For those of you who missed our demonstration, recording, as, right? as soon as, yes, we're recording, as soon as we are uh, off the live, it'll be posted on our Kids Club for Jesus Facebook page, and we will also post it on my YouTube channel, Brenda Walsh Ministries. Just go to um, YouTube, type in Brenda Walsh Ministries, and you will find all of our lives there. And would you please do me a favor and hit subscribe, and that way you also will know whenever we've added new things there, you'll get to be notified right away. And so nice hit like on, ooh, you did a great job there. A nice pack. Snowball. That's right. And we can do some more in a little bit. Mm -hmm. But um, now the taste test comes. Cool. So, right, so are we going to try one so, of each or just? I, well, I think, I think it's only fair that you um, get to try one of each because then you taste the coconut difference, okay? Yeah. So put, put one of each on your plate. Do that nice one. All right. The middle one. And then, so you've got one with both kinds of coconut. So why don't you try... So. Yeah, that's okay. No problem. Let's see. So this I'm going to hold it up for you so that they can see the it right first, in the camera. The so first this, coconut. This is the first one. Mm, did we see the cherry inside? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. They can look and see the cherry inside right there. Mmm. Mm. Is that, that pretty is good? Delicious. All right, well, well, put that down. You don't even have to get to finish it yet. i got to try that one now. See? Oh, let's see. All right, try that one. Oh, you took a nice big bite. How... Which one did you prefer? Oh, well, they're both pretty much the same. They taste the same? No, I mean, this one has some good qualities that this one don't. Mm -hmm. And this one has some that the, that, that one doesn't. So you, I think basically you're saying you like them both. Yeah. Like them both. So you can't go wrong, can they? So would you encourage the boys and girls to try these? You can take your plate now. Oh, would yes. you try these cookies? Yeah, they're wonderful. And you can see that it wasn't hard to make at all, was it? Well, I want to, um, while, while Matthew's enjoying his cookies, I want to invite you to um, go to our Kids Club for Jesus Facebook page where you are right now 
and we have most has posted our recipes for tomorrow and most if you would just type them in for me right there of uh, what they are and I will read them off mm. and pardon me that's good because the, the cherry in the middle is nice and warm mm. it, st it stays warm because it's in the inside Oh, and that I didn't I didn't think about that. So if you're eating those warm out of the oven, they're still good, aren't they? You don't have to wait till they cool off. Yeah, they they are just melting your mouth, goodness, right there. So Melissa's going to tell me if she just um, types that in for me, and that way you know too. But right after we go off the live, you can vote on what we'll fix for next week. And I also wanted to uh, share with you that next week, Claire, who was with us on um, on kid, on cooking. I think last week was it she's going to be back with us next week mm -hmm. and she had a good time too and we'll invite you back too Matthew oh, sure <laughs> I love Anything. it I love Anything. having you cook with me so we are fixing wraps what are we fixing wraps and let's see she's and putting sauce. in there I don't see your your thing right here oh here it is okay so hmm. okay so she, we're doing we're doing wraps and subs you know what subs are a type of sandwich mm -hmm. like I think it's short for submarine sandwich, you know, the long kind of bun sandwich, a sub sandwich. So we are having Philly steak sub, Moroccan eggplant wrap, Thai veggie wrap, and chicken salad sub. Woo, hmm. now that's a wide variety, don't you think? I'm going to vote for the chicken salad sub. The chicken salad sub. So make sure you go in and cast your vote because what you do is you, um, you want to click the link to cast your votes. And we have somebody that tallies all that for us so we keep everything honest. It's not just, oh, well, which one do we fix? You really do have a vote. You do have a say. But now, you only can, can vote once. Now I'm thirsty. You know, that, make, that makes you thirsty. That makes you thirsty. Well, guess what? I keep some water right here for you. And you can have some water. There you go. All right. Well, I want to encourage you to join me on every Sabbath at 5.30. I will be live at the piano on my Facebook page, Brenda Walsh Ministries. I was and on that one. Yes, you were on that one, too. And we had a good time, didn't we? Oh, yeah. I sang a song with my dad. Yes, you sang a song with your dad. Do you remember what you sang? I have decided. I have decided to follow Jesus. That was beautiful. And he did that at the last minute. It wasn't planned or practiced or anything. You just, oh, yeah, I'll sing that. And that's, that's the heart he has for Jesus. I just love him. And he has a precious mom and dad who have really introduced you to Jesus. And we oh, got to yeah. thank mom and dad for that uh, because that makes all the difference in the world. They are raising a Christian son and it's, it's evidenced in, in you. And I want to thank you so much, Matthew, for being with us. I want to invite each of you to join me Sabbath at 530 for our live. Go to Brenda Walsh Ministries on Facebook and you can submit your favorite song that you would like me to play and I'll play it for you. Also, at the very end of our program, we would ask you to submit your prayer requests, and we will have a special prayer at the end of each program for your prayer requests. So please join us next time, and until next time, remember, it's your time to share Jesus. Bye-bye, everybody. Love ya.